Hello, I'm Kirsten O'Brien. It's vital for parents to be able to treat major or minor childhood emergencies and two of the most common are small cuts and burns. Well, with me is Clive James, who's a first aider at St John Ambulance. So what advice would you give parents whose child has, say, a nasty cut or a graze? First of all, if it's a wound, a minor wound, clean it. We need to make sure there's nothing embedded that could cause an infection later on. Best way of doing that is cold running water. Clean it off and then dry it. Once you've dried it, it's still an open wound, so we need to cover it to prevent any other infection getting in there. So apply a plaster to it to prevent that. If you've got something embedded in the wound, like a piece of glass, don't take it out because you could actually make the bleeding worse. So what we're going to do there is just actually put pressure either side of the wound and you're going to need to get them to a hospital. If it's a more serious wound, we need to control the bleeding before we do anything else. The infection is not a priority here, but we need to stop them bleeding. The best way of doing that is direct pressure. Once you've done that, elevate it above the line of the heart so you actually help slow the bleeding down. Once we've got the bleeding under control, you then can apply a dressing but anything you apply a dressing to is probably going to need to go to a hospital to be treated, so you need to get them to medical aid. And I'm sure it's also important to reassure your child as much as possible, and if they don't like the look of blood, get that plaster on as quick as possible. Definitely. Uh, you've got to remember that even though you've cleaned the wound and dried it off, there's still an open wound and it's still open to infection, so get a plaster on it and that will help prevent that. Elastoplast research has shown that 70% of parents don't cover a wound up, even though putting a plaster on a cut or graze helps to stop the dirt and the infection getting in. There are also new products on the market that contain a healing cream, which helps to keep the area moist, and this speeds up the healing process, as well as reducing the likelihood of scarring. OK, let's move on to the topic now of burns. What would be the first thing you would do if a child had a burn? first thing you've got to do is cool the burn down. Uh, the best way of doing that is cold running water if you've got it available, but for a minimum of 10 minutes. If you're out and about and you haven't got running water available, any safe liquid, i.e. a cold fizzy drink, will do the job as well. But it's uh, is important to stress, a minimum of 10 minutes, because most people just put it under for a few seconds, pain goes, and you're not really doing anything there apart from just giving instant relief. If it's a more serious burn, you might notice blistering or even the skin has been broken. In a situation like that, we still need to cool the burn down. Again, another 10 minutes under cold running water, but we need to cover it to prevent infection. The best way of doing that is to cover it in either a, a plastic bag or kitchen film. But they will need to go to hospital for treatment. Never put anything that's fluffy, i.e. cotton wool, on there, because that will stick to the burn and could cause problems later on. One thing you should be wary of is that what might seem a minor burn to me or you because a child's skin and tissue is so soft and so, uh, tender, could actually be much worse. If you've got any doubts, always seek medical aid. But generally speaking, cold water is always the best way of treating a burn. Clive, thank you very much. Well, the chances are that your child will suffer a minor cut or burn. But if you're anything like me, then the more prepared you are, the better. Hopefully, this advice will make sure you can cope in any difficult situations that arise.